Hey folks, it's Richard from Backpacking Adventures and in today's video I'm looking forward to sharing with you the rides that I'm going to be taking part in um, over the next few months. As you can see, there's quite a few on the screen. We're going to talk about them, just generally speaking, what they are, when they are and uh, my feelings towards each of those. So, next week it all kicks off in uh, Bowls Over, which I believe is in Nottinghamshire. I'm going to be riding 100 kilometres in the Bowls Over Jester. That starts at 9 o'clock. The ball will be up bright and early. I have these see on the screen here. I need to be leaving, I need to be getting on my bike at half six because I'm extending that one um, to 200 kilometres. So it's going to be about 50k, or it's about 40k there, and 60k back. So really looking forward to that one. Getting out, riding with other people. For me, that is the Odak season kicking off for 2023. I know the season's been running for a while now, well, at least the, you know from the beginning of this year, but that will be my first uh, event. I'm really looking forward to getting on the road and just riding with other people. I've spent a lot of the winter months riding by myself, and it's nice just to always ride with other people. And then the following week, on the 25th of March, it's the Bomber County, which is organised by Odax Club Lincolnshire, one of Richard Parker's events and that is a 200 kilometer distance uh, as it says here 950 meters of elevation just make that window a little bit bigger shall we so we can see the uh, the distance over on the right there so yes yeah, so my pbp qualifier uh, starts at seven o'clock in the morning and it says at the moment here i'm going to be riding by, riding by bicycle that might change might drive there on the morning it just depends on how i feel really then a couple of weeks later is the Belgian gravel, but uh, it might not go ahead on that one because um, I'm on the waiting list. So the Belgian gravel, what is it? It's a gravel sportif. It's only 65 kilometres long. I think it might, don't know if it's kilometres or miles that one, but it's been organised by Cafe Velo Verdi. I found about it in January or February, and I'm on the waiting list now because it's all sold out. So fingers crossed. I'll get in that list. But while I was um, inquiring about that one with the organiser at Cafe Villa Verde, they replied back to an email saying there's actually got an event going on in May. A little bit further down the list there, the uh, mid-May Madness, which is sounds very similar to All Points North. It's uh, 450 kilometres as opposed to 1,000 kilometres. You have some control points. You've got a couple, couple parkours, that you have to you know uh, put together your route to ride along and it sounds a little bit more relaxed it's self-sufficient but they say you know if you want to go home halfway through get a good night's sleep continue the next day fine not a problem so it sounds a bit more relaxed there's no tracking online or anything like that so um, yeah i'm considering that i'm not actually doing anything that weekend of the uh, 12th to the 14th so um yeah, possibly do that. And I do say 12th for the 14th because you can actually do it as a three day event, start on the Friday if you so wish. But I probably can do it as two days. A little bit uh, later, on in the month of April, we've got the first bank holiday, bank holiday Friday and Saturday. And I've, I've been pondering the idea of doing uh, a backpacking trip on the new proof. Um, yeah, because I really want to explore what the UK has to offer off-road. So I've been looking at doing the further east bikepacking uh, route. Now, I'll, probably, I'll, I'll bring this up on screen, shall I? I've got it open here, I believe. Let me just click through on the link. So this is the route here, the further east bikepacking route, which was put together by Josh Ibert, who I did message on Instagram a couple of days ago to get some opinion on what he felt it would be like to ride in April and he has done it he says uh, what 40 probably would say was um, what just keep an eye on conditions over the next few weeks if it looks like it's gonna it could be raining all the time maybe consider doing something else so I will be having some sort of backup plan um, but this will be hopefully happening uh, it starts, the official route starts here, uh, kind of south east of Cambridge. Uh, I'm guessing that's close to where Josh Ibert lives. 
but uh, I'm probably going to start on the opposite end near Oakham or perhaps more, more actually more realistically over here in this corner southwest of Boston I'll park my car my van up somewhere and uh, you know start that ride and I believe I'll click on here it's nearly 700 kilometers so of course I need to round that up to an Audax distance of 700 kilometers so yeah um, that's bank holiday April bank holiday and like I say I will need to choose an alternative just in case the weather over that preceding weeks isn't that great so what else have I got on my calendar the following week after that adventure is back on the road again with my 300 kilometer PBP qualifier to the chapel let's take a look at that one I don't know if I've got a link to the route on here no that's just the link to the detail we've got a route sheet I don't use those let's go and look, look at the website shall we so this is on ride with GPS take the satellite mode off, mode off so it starts in Alfrington and runs along the bottom through Newark Woodall Spa to Chapel St Leonard that's where it gets its name and runs through Louth I'm trying to see where that goes it goes across the uh, Bluestone Heath Road to Rugby well north of Lincoln Sturton and Stowe to Gainsborough jumping over the River Trent Whitford and then back again to Alfreton that uh, same evening. So we're looking forward to that one. Hopefully the website can play ball with all these <laughs> play ball with all these events. Following week after that, it's back onto the gravel again in Northumberland for the Dirty River, which is a 200 km distance, 3,100 meters of elevation, which is a bit more accurate than what they tell you. <laughs> Um, last year when I did it, it was said it's a bit more like 2000. On to the following week, I am taking part in another old axe, a PBP qualifier, 600 kilometers. It's called a little bit of everything, and I believe that's in Wales actually. Uh, Aberwith, Aberwith, with. <laughs> yeah, so it's kicking off, May's kicking off big time. So I spoke about earlier the uh, Cafe Villa Verde mid-May madness sport but I put sportive down but it's it's not really a sportive but it's the closest description I have for it 450 meters of climbing you actually do the route yourself between all the checkpoints and the parkours so yeah that's why it's a little bit similar to all ports north so that's probably a good training ride for the bigger ride uh, two weeks later but wedged in between those is another Audax, my 400 km PVP qualifier on the road, 400 km over 5,000 meters of climbing. Let's click through, see if I've got a route I can look at. So there's the link onto the Audax website. Organizer, let's see what Brendan's link does. Have we got a route to show you? No, not immediately got a route to show me. Let's do what I often do and come on to write with GPS, go to the search box, click the first link, hopefully it's fairly recent and there we have it, it's nearly 5,000 meters of climbing, yep and that's where Brendan's kept it up to date, so it starts in Nantwich and heads along the top through Chester, that's probably the, uh, the Greenway. No, the Greenway is a bit further north here, isn't it? Through Flint, through towards Flint, so that's a different path. So, yeah, 400, that's the Aberdaran. Probably pronouncing it all wrong, but um, say what you see. <laughs> and the following week is the big one for the year, all points north, which is a thousand kilometre ride, 14,000 metres. It's a tracked race uh, organised by Angela from A Different Gear. Really looking forward to that. It starts on the Friday evening, something about 8 o'clock or something, 8 pm. Not entirely sure, so I've left that box empty. And then the following weekend, there's no rest up here, I'm on to Mixed Terrain, Ravron Road. By this point, I'm going to be shattered after the weekend before 
so I'm gonna do, do it a bit more relaxed. But it's gonna be such fun. It's off road around this uh, around the southern England, um, the south and north downs. It starts in Canterbury. Really looking forward to it. Gonna be on the gravel bike. Big beefy tyres on there, the biggest tyres I can possibly fit, which I think is 47 millimetres. I'm gonna get some of those, throw those on. That's gonna be an amazing event. I'm really looking forward to that. Here we are, there's the route to this one. So it's 480 kilometres. Kept Downs through whatever this is here to the Surrey Hills of Outstanding Natural Beauty. I wonder if it's Box Hill. I get, I've got a feeling Box Hill is a little bit further north, but I'll find out when I study this in greater detail. At the moment, it's all in the future somewhere. So yeah, uh, that's that event, the Great British Escapades. And then uh, the following week, <laughs> I've got busy schedule ahead. I did tell you this, and I've got another 600 planned in. This is hell of a 600. It's over 10,000 meters of climbing. Uh, this is kind of a bonus ride to this one here in May. Uh, so this is kind of, it's kind of an optional whether I actually do it or not. Um, yeah, I might take that as a recovery week. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, that's that's a Pendle 600. I'm not going to look into all of these. Um, with Lauf Cycle Club, I'm doing a charity ride, stroke challenge. It's the Lincolnshire Border Ride. It's close. It's actually on the well, actually, it's the weekend following the summer solstice. That particular ride, 580 kilometres, 2,400 metres of elevation, all the way around the Lincolnshire Border. Uh, for anybody who's been watching the channel for a while, um, I did this last year solo, got drenched halfway around, but it was such a laugh, we had a really good time. So I'm um, doing it as a group this year. We're gonna be starting from Louth, heading all the way down the coast. As you can see, I've got all my custom queues loading into here. All these places that uh, you could potentially stop. Information points are here for the other riders, because I think there's about 15 of us riding it from the club, or at least that's the number at the moment. We've got the markers, that's gonna flick up on their Garmin or Wahoo or whatever they use. Some information on there as well. I'm gonna strip this right down close to the time, but it gives us an idea of where we can stop. There is a hotel we're gonna be staying at, however marked that. Um, this is it here, there's a, there's a hotel. The store, Stoughton, Stoughton Arms, which is close to Long Bennington. So in the first day, uh, we've all got to ride just over 300 kilometers and uh, the second day, obviously a little bit easier. <laughs> uh, shorter bike, uh, 20 kilometers. So really, really looking forward to that one. Um, different sort of pace. Hopefully we're gonna all help each other out as we ride around. It's, um, yeah, it's certainly gonna be a good event. And then the following week after that, yeah, I see why it's important to perhaps consider skipping the Pendleton. <laughs> the following week after that, July the 2nd is a, well, it's the, probably the biggest event that I'm looking forward to in 2023. That and all points north, it's the Pan Celtic race, starting in St. Malo in Brittany in France. It's a journey over 2,300 kilometers 22,000 meters of climbing. Not sure where I got that, where I got that number from, but let's cl click through and see if I can got a graphic of the route that I can just quickly show you. So let's land on the website. If we dive into the menus, click on full route. Hopefully this has got a nice graphic we can look at. There we are. So start in St. Malo, or Malo. I believe it's this way. Uh, anti-clockwise to Brest all the way down there this is going to be very enjoyable into France um, and then we take the ferry from hmm, what's the name of the ferry town I'm not quite sure jump the ferry land in Portsmouth and then ride all the way across the Bristol Channel Following this 
stunning section that divides England and Wales. What's that known as? The Ancient King Offers Dyke. And I've already clarified, none of that is off-road. <laughs> there might be some slight gravel sections, I guess. 2nd of July, here we go, 72,000 feet, 1,400 miles. So that's my big, big adventure of 2023. So yes, lots going on, a bit of a gap, and yeah, I certainly need that recovery time for the final event that I've got in my calendar uh, this summer, which is Paris Brest Paris. That takes place on the 18th of August. There's gonna be three of us uh, driving down. We're taking the uh, Euro uh, channel, tunnel thing to France, then driving through to to uh, Rambouille in Northern France. So we're really looking forward to that one. For anybody that doesn't know, it's been running for over 100 years now. It's PBP, big event, lots of people there, 8,000 people, 1,200 kilometers, 600 kilometers to Brest in uh, Western Brittany, turn around, come back again, 12,000 meter climbing. <laughs> it is gonna be absolutely amazing. Um, absolutely stunning event, well organized. It's really, after everything what would leading up to that, it will be such a pleasure to ride. Here it is. And there we have it, my busy calendar. Gravel sports, ultra race, PBP, bike packing adventure, um, explosion of events. <laughs> and interestingly in the corner of the screen here, Notion tells us that uh, culminates in, well, getting close to 10,000 kilometers. And 80,000 meters of climbing, so yeah, I've got a hell of a year. Somewhere in that <laughs> days, I, I'm, I'd like to squeeze in some bike packing adventures. Not sure where, not sure how, uh, probably not in May, June. I'm not sure how I'm going to squeeze those in there. So, there we have it, my diary for 2023. Um, hopefully, I'll be firing up all cylinders. Hopefully, you can stick around and uh, enjoy the journey with me. It's going to uh, have lots of highs and inevitably there'll be some low points in there. I'm thinking all points north as I tell you that. So come and join me. It's gonna be an action-packed year. If you found something useful in this video, if there's any of these events that take your fancy, do give me a thumbs up and reach out to me. My email address is down below this video if you want to ask me any questions. Of course, get involved in, in those comments below this video and anything going on throughout the year and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already now might be the time i'll see you in the next video take care from me see you again soon bye bye